So first episode, huh? Some technical difficulties. Maybe we should test a few things. <laughs> oh, and then we've lost one of our own. Oh, let me start this. Hello, hello. Is it registering? Do you see levels when I talk? I mean, kind of. <laughs> okay. In the bright sun, this does really well. Look at this convenient and small lav mic I have. <laughs> Here we are at the beautiful Red Rocks Amphitheater, and our target birds for today are Woodhouse and Scrub Jay, Woodhouse and Scrub Jay Prairie Falcon, White Crown Sparrow, because it's winter, and those are the ones we can see right now. Where are we right now? Uh, right now we're standing at the back of the trading post. There's a deck on the back, and the viewing is best from the deck. Yeah. You can see rosy finches here sometimes. Um, every once in a while, a fox sparrow will show up. So we'll see what we can see. Soji, a cameraman today. Hello. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, that, that, that's that's the entirety of me. Just <laughs> just a disembodied hand just floating around. Who has a nice wide angle, not as great for bird watching as you might think. 16 millimeters. I mean, you can see all the birds at once, but you can't see one bird at all. So. Ah, well, I'm, I'm two millimeters better than that. I'm at 18 right now. <laughs> oh, oh, 18. Okay, great. Um, so instead I'll be using this guy and we'll get some uh, some photos of some birds that we see out here. Um, okay, so running list. Right now I see a black cat chickadee over there. Two song sparrows. Uh, yeah, they're the underneath the platform if you know what I mean. Ooh. A toey. Um, okay, so if I can give some notes on, what, what we want to do is give like, tips and tricks on like the best way to bird this place, because Red Rocks Amphitheater is like a big open spot, there's lots of different areas to go in it, and like a few of them are like absolute hot spots for specific types of birds, this being one of them, which is why we're starting here. So we're at the trading post, here in, um, what is this, the garden? What do we call this? I don't know, the back of the trading post, you can see almost all your juncos. Like I went and like, if you want to study all the juncos in Colorado, they're all right here. So you can go see all of them um, individually, maybe not right now at this moment, but you can still see most of them. We've seen lots of juncos, lots of other little birds. Um, and then after this, we'll go to the second good hot spot for other birds. Best time of year, it depends on the type of species you're looking for. In the summer, there's a lot of cool things. There's breeding peregrine falcons, uh, white-throated swifts breed here, uh, canyon wrens breed here. Uh, great horned owls breed here. Uh, in the winter, it's great for seed-eating birds. So in eruption years, you can find rosy finches, sometimes red poles, uh, fox sparrows, golden crown sparrows have been seen here. Best time of day is always sunrise, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> Best time of day is probably between 7 and 10 a.m. Oh, cool. And 2.30 and 4.30 p.m. So it's like 9.30 right now, so we're still in the best time of day time for today. The best bird I ever saw here was a fox sparrow. Who's that way up there? That's a Phoebe. Oh yeah. Is it ever? Yes. Yeah, it looks like it. That's a little out of season. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, was it a solitaire? I think it's a solitaire. I mean, that's more likely. I saw a wing stripe. Townsend Solitaire, put it on the list. Ah, uh, yes, we saw mostly pink sided, gray headed, slate colored, and one organ. Is that on the feet? Two gray headed, or maybe two pink sided, I don't know. Okay, so this this spot is a, is a great area for seeing a lot of small birds. They all accumulate over here. You'll see like lots of white crown sparrows here normally. And. Not really white crown sparrows. I feel like I should do the talking about birds. Yeah, you should. <laughs> I've seen lots of white crown over there. Yeah, the gamble where we were trying to figure out gambles were stuck. You... Yeah, there's a bunch over there. Yeah. Oh, you can get this ticket, eh? <gasps> okay, and then this side over here. Well, Megan, what's what's this half of this small area better for? They're good for the same things. Yeah. There's a speeder though. So Sparrows there. and finches. Oh, who's that? There's a scrub jay over there. There's one at the base of the feeder, and there's one on top of the feeder. We got our scrub jay. 
recently, sort of recently, renamed to Woodhouses. So what were they before? Western. Western. They're no longer Western. Now they come from Woodhouse. Uh-huh. Woodhouseiensis. That's wrong. <laughs> I can't put spotted toe. Oh, where's the toe? He's underneath the platform feeder over here. Nice. Okay. Oh, look at him up there. What a great, what a great photographer's pose. If you look at me, his feet are all sideways. <laughs> You know what I mean. The, the <laughs> yeah. the branch. He's like, oh, it's so comfortable. I always stand like this. What are you talking about? Oh, there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's one of our targets. Let's go to the next spot. Let's see what else we can find. All right. Did this spot name this section? Trading Post Trail. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> They're winning Junko. So Red Rocks Amphitheater is also a great spot for Virginia Warbler. Virginia's Warbler. Not this section. And not this time of year. Not this time of year. <laughs> right now you can only see dead Virginia's Warblers. Oh gosh. <laughs> <Is that accurate>? <laughs> <laughs> Those are ravens. <gasps> Look at him going upside down. You see that? Yeah. Nope. He's diving upside down. That's funny. Do you hear how his voice is lower? Yeah. Than a crow? Throaty. <clears throat> I hear a house finch. You can put it on the list. Add him to the list. So for the uninitiated, do you bird by ear or by sight? Both. Yeah, both, but mostly by ear. Unless Jordan's talking. Um, you start by ear, and then that helps you locate them, trail? and then you can look at them, but you can still count it. It looks like a trail. There's people on it. <laughs> so there's often times I just hear you listen for a bird and say, oh, that's a something, something, something. Yeah, and then you can count it. Except if it's like a lifer, then you gotta see it, you know? Because it doesn't count if you just hear a lifer, and oh, you're like, yeah, that's probably it whatever that is. counts. <laughs> Mister, I've definitely seen every rail I've heard. <laughs> If I see if I see the reeds moving, it counts. I have seen a rail. What's a good place you can uh, learn bird calls? Oh, Zeno Canto, Zeno X E N O underscore Canto C A N T O dot uh, org. I think yeah, dot org has like all the bird calls in the world. And then you can make yourself a beautiful, obnoxious playlist <laughs> and just like birds calling for hours and hours. And then when you're sitting on the bus and someone's like, someone's like, hey, beautiful. And they pull out your headphones because they're trying to talk to you. And then it starts like blaring like weird bird sounds in it. And they're like, oh, God, OK. And then they leave you alone. And that's why you listen to bird song. At one time, they're gonna recognize a bird call, and then you find your uh, new best friend. Oh yeah, then you know <laughs> they're a keeper, lifer, a life. <laughs> are we okay? So wait, is the trail the location, or are we headed to the location? The trail is the location. Oh, okay. This is just another way to bird red rocks. Cause along here, there's white-throated swifts that nest, canyon wrens, probably rock wrens. Yellow warblers, black-headed growth speaks, both Baltimore. <laughs> Around where should they be looking? Anywhere. Anywhere. Anywhere, anywhere and everywhere. <laughs> Wherever the birds are, look there. I'll we'll have to come back and walk this trail in the spring. It's gonna look completely different. Yeah. And we'll still be freezing. That's the best part. You said Orioles? Are they nesting over here? This doesn't look like the right... Mm, they nest on the other side where the bigger trees are. Oh, okay. Okay, let's go to the uh, our third location at Red Rock. So we're outside of um, ideal birding hour, according to your numbers from earlier. 
Um, and I'm noticing there's also like a thousand people here now. This place, is this like normal? Uh, yeah, Red Rocks is very popular. It's beautiful. It's easy to get to. It's right off a major highway. Um, and a lot of people come here to exercise. They run up and down the amphitheater seating. Crazy people. Yeah. Um, so the earlier the better, for sure. Uh, we are heading west to the west side of the amphitheater, which has very similar habitat, um, but sometimes fewer people. Um, and it might have a slightly different composition of birds because the habitat transitions from sort of this scrub oak mix to more of a ponderosa pine. You may turn the mic here. Okay. So, like, who might we see? Well, Queen. this summer you could see western tanager, blue-gray gnatcatcher, Hammond's flycatcher. Wow. Okay. But um, today... Today, we're going to see the exact same mix of species we've already seen. So, oh, cool. woodhouses, scrub jays, <laughs> juncos... Um, magpies. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll see bush tits. But the hope is that we'll see them better. Exactly. Sure. Exciting. Exciting. All right. So like on our target list, we still don't have a uh, prairie falcon yet or our white crown sparrows. Uh, prairie falcons are challenging to see in the best of conditions. So is there like a prairie falcon like resident at Red Rocks Amphitheater? They breed here regularly. Um, but they're not always here all winter. It's more of a, if it's here and you see it, yay. Okay, that's... <laughs> but you might confidence not. Confidence building. So that means, so, um, Red Rocks Amphitheater has both a breeding pair of peregrine falcons and a breeding pair of prairie? That's correct. Wow. And you're gonna probably find them closer to the crags on the top, right? Yeah. Oh, there's a raptor. Oh, yeah. A oh, you're flooding a, up in the east. Yeah. Sky. It's a red tail. Oh, yeah. No prairie falcon for us. Wow, I'm getting a great visual of that. <laughs> um, yeah, you can tell where they're nesting because there's whitewash below the nest. <laughs> Maybe we can get a photo of that later today. Definitely. Do you see it up there, sort of? Yeah. You say whitewash, but when you say whitewash, you mean... You totally mean the political white, white washing <laughs> yeah. of... Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it, this is a metaphor for all the uh, European species that are invasive that have been to introduce. It's the white washing of the otherwise diverse melting pot of America. Um, not to be confused with disambiguation, citation needed, that white wash, which is poop. <laughs> I don't see any birds. There's no birds here. All right, I'm afraid the trail is back down there, and I thought it was up here. That's okay. Let's head back down. Here's one of the great challenges of uh, Red Rocks Amphitheater. There's like 23 parking lots, uh, and a bunch of trails, and a million people, uh, and we've birded here before and we're lost. We're not lost. We're lost! All right, whatever. We're going to look for dippers. Dippers! Uh, Morrison is Oozles. Nice to look for dippers.